All right, hello all you starfighters out there. Commander Kingfish here, and uh, I am back in Starfield. Uh, we just finished up some uh, side missions, and we're going to head back to see secret compartment full of Kelton every narcotic and first. Let me make sure I got that in. That sounds like it. Did. Uh, okay, that is already queued up. Let's see, activities, yep. Uh, so let's go, uh, let's go talk to him. More trouble than it's And, worth. uh, see how, uh, yeah. how his day's going. I'm sure it's, uh, wonderful. Look at all of that up there. Isn't that kind of cool? Anyway, alright, let's get going here. Alright, let's hit the transit. Over to the mass district. Yeah, the one thing with doing these side missions like this, it uh, really helps in uh, leveling up, building up some credits and stuff like that. And while I am at it, while we're just walking over, uh, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps the channel out a lot. And hit that like and uh, the bell so that you're always notified and the like really helps the, the video out. So, uh, yeah, please do that. Anyway, all right, so we're almost there to see Kelton. And he's always facing the wrong direction. Let's get around here and let's turn and face him here. Huh, well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Ah, looks like you're still hard at work. Indeed I am. The success of my previous venture, with which you so kindly assisted, has been brought to the attention of Mast. There is growing concern. Oh my, a bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. Oh, well, that doesn't sound like a, uh, uh, a good outlook. So you must have some kind of plan, right? I am attempting to formulate one, yes. But until I have all of the relevant information, it is impossible to do so. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. <clears throat> <clears throat> per per personnel issues, if you understand me. Well, come on now. Uh, let me guess, co-worker and jilted lover? What? No, that is ridiculous. I am a professional. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. Okay. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? Well, I'll get your research for you. We'll do that. Oh, thank you. Uh, last I knew, he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts of the city. Uh, perhaps it's best if you don't mention my name in the process? Great, great. Kelton, what did you do? All right, so we got to go talk to this Emilio. Uh, we've got to make sure, we're, I'm sure it's going to be a persuasion. I need to make sure I uh, have enough aid. Uh, do I have... I still have a sparkling wine. So that should do it. So let's go... Uh, let's go talk to this Emilio character and see what we can do. Alright, now where is he? Is it... Uh, oh, he's back this way. He said he's on the outskirts. All right. Well, let's hopefully he's not going to be too much of a butthole. 
All right, almost there. Ah, right, here we go. Emilio, hey buddy, how you doing? Mind your step. Important research happening here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. <sighs> Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. Oh, well, sorry. Uh, I'm on mass business, too. Need some research data on trees. Trees? Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try, but it's not happening. No. No way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. Oh. Good lord. Kelton says this isn't about him. Lives could be at stake here. Can't you see the bigger picture? <laughs> right. Of course, we're all in danger. Trees are involved, after all. Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? Hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in Mast. Oh, you, you're a butt, aren't you? This sounds shady. I'm not sure I want anything to do with that. All right, fine, I'm in. Wait, really? Wow. Okay. Okay. I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last Figures. couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a backdoor into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of locked. Oh, great. How about you just give me Kelton's data now? Well, hold on. Let me... Best of luck out there. Just a second here. I forgot to take my aid. Let's see if we can do this without having to go... Uh... Let's see, where are you? Sparkling wine. Let's take that. And let's... Oh, boy. Always get that jolt. All right, let's talk. Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. Ah, uh, let's go through Freeze. all of this. Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try, but it's not happening. No, no way. Kelton is right, actively right. ruining my career. We've There's no this. chance that I'm helping him we with know anything. The story. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher ups. I'm not helping him with that. Well, uh, you should be the better man here. Oh, yeah? You think so? Wow, thanks for that. I'll really give it some thought. Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? Hmm, maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. Sure, sure. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in Mast. Okay. All right, fine, I'm in. Wait, really? Wow, okay. Okay. I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a backdoor into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of locked. Great. How about you just give me Kelton's data now and we skip the rest? <laughs> Sorry, that's not on the table. Ah, uh, handing over that data is the right thing to do, you know that. Advancing my career is the right thing to do, so that's what I'm focused on. All right, there has to be a, a way we can work this out. There is, and I already explained exactly what it is. Uh-oh, crap. This isn't the way to get ahead. I just want to make a name for myself, you know? I'm sure you can understand. Okay, look, look. Just hear me out, all right? I really need this to happen. If you do this for me, I can make it worth your while. You delete that data, I get promoted, I'm pulling in a bigger salary. I can compensate you. I'll throw in some extra credits for you, okay? 
a nice little bonus. But first, you need to get into the chief engineer's apartment. Oh, boy. Fine, I'll do it for the credits, but you better not stiff me. Oh, good. Thank God. You really had me on the ropes there. Listen, this will be good for the both of us, okay? Just get in, access her terminal, delete the files, and get out. Really simple. Uh, what is this data I'm deleting for you exactly? Oh, don't worry about it. It's just, uh, pretty much everything in my personnel file. Great. Most of it is fine, of course. I'm good at what I do. I just received a few very unfair reviews recently, sure. and I figure, why not start over completely? Haven't we all? So you get a chance to start over. I get a chance to keep doing the exemplary job I've been doing. It's not my fault people here are out to get me. Right. Okay. All right. Enough of that. I'll just get back to my incredibly important research then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so now, great. We have to go. You ever hear that one about the orphan and the platypus? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> funny stuff. Yeah, uh, I'm sure it is hilarious. Okay. Uh, where are we off to? Uh, is this the right way? No, I think around over here. Around over here. Yeah. Saw your ship coming. Nice ride. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, do I have some digi picks? I think I do. Uh, it, now they are under miscellaneous. I got two. Wow. God, I hope that's enough. Uh, that's Reliant Medical. Uh, let's see. I thought the UC... Uh, where is it at? Ah, uh, that's the one thing I hate about this. You can never find anything around here. All right. That's clothiers. He's not going to have any. Uh, All art is political, but especially that. You really let's can't see. About something that is uh, you know what? Two's enough. Life. Let's be daring. Politics. We can do it with two. All right. Let's e activate. Unlock. Okay, so... Uh, let's see, does this line... That's one line... That line's up there. And now we need one that is two. And I think that might be this one here. No. No. That lines up on the inside. Let's go to this one. Alright, now that one's lined up. Oh. Okay, that's lined up there. And that's lined up there. And this one is lined up on the inside. So that means... We need we need one with three. Uh, okay. Oh, wrong one. No, that one's lined up there. Got that lined up there. Let me see something here. That uh, this one does not line up with anything on the inside. So this one has to go there. All right. And this three. Okay, that three has to go there. 
And that leaves this two. All right, I think I got it. Okay, that one will go there. That one's lined up in there. That one is lined up on the outside. And that's lined up there. Okay, let's slot these things. All right. Uh, slot that. Slot that. Uh-oh. That one goes there. Okay. Okay, I got it. Let's slot that. And slot that. Okay. All right, let's use uh, personnel files. Uh, let's see. Purge all files. Okay. We got that done. Okay, now we can go back and see him. Better close the door so nobody knows that we were here. Alright. Uh, okay. All right, where's he at? Okay, uh, get up there. Around this way? Nothing's ever easy in getting around New Atlantis. So I got some last spacious, but then I realized my tank's probably, I'm stuck. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess we're going the long way around, aren't we? No doubt. Okay, here we go. Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you for a DP. Yeah, okay, okay. Alright, this better be worth it. All right, man. If it isn't Kelton's little errand runner. Talk to me, buddy. You have some good news for me? Your records are now clean. Eh, you know, I didn't like it, but I did it. Oh, boo-hoo. We both get what we want. I took a peek on the network, saw that things have updated. Great job. You came through for me, so now I'll do the same for you. This slate has all the data Kelton needs. And because I am a man of my word, here are the extra credits I promised. All right, a thousand extra credits. All right, now we can go deliver the data to Kelton. All right, where's he at? He's back over here. All right. Let's see. So, will this uh, get this all taken care of then? Okay. Okay, here we go. What do you got? I hope we're not too late to avoid disaster. Me too. I hope you have the data. It's really quite crucial. Uh You owe me for this, Kelt. You owe me for this, Kelton, more than you know. If it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to go on not knowing. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details sure. in the event that it comes up later, particularly in a legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double-cross me. But you have once again come through for me. 
I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. Ah, uh, I'm just doing my part. And I appreciate it. Thank you for your assistance. All right, another couple of thousand credits. And we've leveled up. And we got to check on Kelton a little bit later. Great. More to do. All right, well, let's spend that skill point. And uh, what I need... Let's see. We need to start unlocking persuasion because I do use that quite a bit. So uh, I'll at least will unlock it up to here. So I need to do three speech challenges. And unfortunately, I've already burned up some. So, but that's okay. We're getting started on that. And then uh, the next thing that we are wanting to do is uh, this is available but we're gonna wait uh, I think security is now available and we'll want to I think we'll want to go up to maybe expert I don't think I don't know if there's all that much more to gain getting up to here but at least in the beginning we're gonna get up to, to rank number two and then on medical, uh, we still got a ways to go to, to get to rank two. So uh, we won't worry about that. And then our piloting skills, we're gonna need to work on that as well. All right, uh, <clears throat> where to next? Let's see what we got. Uh, activities. Uh, Well, <clears throat> we can talk to this bartender, and let's see how that goes. Uh, let me check my aid. Well, I can get it from the bartender. She'll have uh, aid for me to buy, because I might need that. And that might be a persuasion that we'll uh, be able to also pick up. So, I will uh, see you over there when I get to the uh, bartender. Then change the message. Okay, we're almost here to the bartender. Let's see what she has to say. Hope life is treating you well. Not Let not me bad. know if I can get you anything. Sure. Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? Uh, yeah, yeah. United Colonies native, actually. Uh... I didn't think that was all that. <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Sure. Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. All right. That work for you, new guy? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Sure. Uh, I could use a drink. Well, that's what I'm here for. What'll it be? All right, let's start with the aid. Uh, sparkling wine. Let's get one of these. Let's confirm. Okay. Uh, business seems to be booming for you. Yep. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything ah a new drink that'll make this place famous really galaxy wide well i'll have to give give this a try you would love it i guarantee only i can't make you one right now what don't have the ingredients i made a deal with a holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient i think will make all the difference but it never showed up Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal uh, cargo. sure, okay. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. You should go talk to security, see if you can get 
What's yours? I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really? I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. Sure sounds like you need a helping hand. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out okay, of Okay, sure. It and always... if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. Oh, sure. You, uh, with me on this? I'm here for you. I'll do whatever I can. God. You have no idea what a relief this is. Access to I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. All right, don't worry. I'll figure something out. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. All right. Catch you later. Yes. Ever been to Sidonia? My brother works there. Never a dull day in the big city. Oh, do you like living here? Oh, sure. There's always tons of travel into New Atlantis, so there's no shortage of people to meet. I love talking with the new people and hearing about their journeys. Not to mention, it's also nice and safe. Unlike my brother's job. What does your brother do? He's a Marine, and if that wasn't bad enough, he's stationed in Sidonia. Oh. He keeps telling me it's safe and how he loves his job, but I just worry about him so much. All I ever hear about Sidonia is how many people get hurt in accidents well, there. I just pray that he'll be okay. He'll be okay. I hope you're right. I just have such a hard time believing that, though. But, oh my, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dump all of that onto you. Of course you did. It just feels good to get it all off my chest. I'm glad I could help. Uh, anything you recommend doing in New Atlantis? There's a huge tree in the Embassy District, across from the mass station. Trust me, it may sound dumb, but I think everyone should see it at least once when they're Been in there the city. done that. It's so cool. Oh, maybe I just love trees. All right, fine. Our conversation's done. Hope to see you again soon. Okay. All right. So, we've got to go talk to security dude. And we've got to persuade him to let us in. Uh, let's get over there. It should be over Keep this way. You'll be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Uh, did it? Oh, it didn't. Ah, for some reason it's not, uh... Uh... Oh, distilling confidence. Access at. There we go. Alright, that's off over here, this direction. And let's see if we can uh, persuade this dude. I just got to remember to drink my aid. Oh, there's nobody around. Oh, no, I see him over there. All right. Let's, uh... Let's take our... vote of confidence. All right. Uh... Let's go ahead and... That's 8%. Uh, what else do we got? We've got the uh, sparkling water. Nope. The sparkling wine. That's 8%. So let's, uh, let's take it. Good lord. I'm going to become an algae here. 
All right, security dude. Back on. Hey, this really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. There's something I can help you with? Ah, uh, you've got some cargo that was impounded. I need access to it. Yeah, I can't really just let you in there. Ah, uh, you can't just have anyone going through. I get it. Must be hard for you to say no all the time. Thank you. I'm sure you can work something out. Yeah, I hope so. All right, look, don't tell anyone I did this for you. I can lose my job over it. If anyone asks, I had nothing to do with this. Hey, you got, got it. it. Thanks, buddy. One second. All right, make it quick, will you? All right, you got it. Uh, we want to take that. All right. And then that's all we want to take. All right. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. All right. I'll meet you back over at the bar. Okay. We're almost here to the viewport. Let's, uh, let's help this young lady out. Hope life is treating you well. Can't Let complain. me know if I can get you anything. Hey there, new guy. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Ah, uh, I have a present for you. Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? Hey. I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. Don't worry. No one died getting this. I certainly hope not. This is a huge deal to me, but it's not worth either of us murdering over. <laughs> well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever sample. On top of that, you get free drinks. Not, not like unlimited free drinks, but you want a little pick-me-up now and then? I got you covered. I need some time to work on what comes next, but this... This was the difficult part, I think. Really? Thank you so much. Okay. Well, there we go. Rewards, nice, okay. I could use a drink. You're in the right place. Let's see if there's, see if anything's for free. No, it doesn't look like it. We do need to pick up another sparkling wine. Those are handy. We'll get one, confirm. All right, there we go. Okay. All right. See you around. Maybe. Oh, hey, you know what? These are bounty boards, mission boards. Let's see what we got. Destroy the Crimson Freet. No, kill the pirate rover. Deliver frozen meat to Aquila. Oh, gosh. Uh, cargo. Oh, we need a much bigger, bigger space for that. Uh, yeah, kilograms. Yeah, we transport settlers. Uh, two settlers to where? Uh, civilian outpost. All right, supply silver. Survey Iranian one. League of Venice contract, blah, blah, blah. Well, we might have to check this out when we're getting ready to travel. All right, let's tab out. And then that's, uh, that's where I can clear any bounties. All right, I don't have any bounties on me, which is a good thing, so. All right. Well, what's next? Let's check our... Uh, check in. I wonder if we waited long enough. We haven't been that long. You know what? I think I will wait. We're going to go over here and wait. So when I'm done waiting, I'll catch up with you. Okay. I got the uh, signal that it was okay to come back and talk with Kelton. So let's see what he has to say. Hey. Oh. I was hoping we might run into one another again. 
Your timing is most fortuitous. Oh, nice. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. Of course not. Ah, uh, I'm always eager to help, Kelton. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. I... You got me there. I, I don't understand what that means. It means it is ready to reproduce. Oh, good lord. I believe this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. Why's that? S uh, <laughs> Define bad news, please. We're continuing to see an increase in the strength and frequency of the vibrations. I don't know how much more significant it will become. If there's no response, the tree may vibrate itself and some nearby portion of the city to destruction. Now, as of yet, there has been no response. And clearly, none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Oh, great. Well, that seems like a nice gesture. Nice? Short-sighted and ill-advised, in my opinion. Sure. Okay. Of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. Whoa. So what's that got to do? I don't understand how any of this was helpful. I'm sorry. I'll get to the point. Finding. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. Oh. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. Oh, girl, I'll be back with it as soon as I can. <laughs> I knew you would understand. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kessler, I'm told. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. All right, off you go. We don't have any time to waste. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Well, it's off to Aquila City. A new... Uh, a new station. And now, a word okay. Our well, once I get back to the ship, I will uh, catch back up with you here in just a little bit. Aquila City. All right, nice. Okay. Need anything repaired on the ship or anything like that? Are we good? How Hold we it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Ah. Then I want to help. Guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. All right, let's uh, let's go let's go talk to the marshal. Hang on here. Let's make sure we put that. Uh, it did uh, it did put it in. So let's uh, let's see what we got here. 
You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, and not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. Wow. <sighs> supposed to do with that okay you need to stand back now look at me Marshall sounds like he could use some help I don't mean to be rude but I don't know you now please stand back uh, well at least hear me out fine talk fast there are lives at stake. Let me help you. Mm. I wish I could say you were wrong, but I'm backed into a corner here. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. Oh, uh, they must have some demands by now, right? They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Ah, uh, maybe I can talk some sense into them. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Okay, hey, I, we can do that. In the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can Security see around him. here is a joke. All right. Well, let's look Things out here. Things got a little excitement on our hands. Well, first off, we need to take our aid. We need to take another shot of uh, uh, liquid courage, and let's. Uh, uh, this one's 9%. Yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, take that. Wow. I'm going to be an alcoholic by the time I get done with this. All right. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just going to walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Uh, you know, this only works if you're willing to cooperate. We'll cooperate when we get what we want. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're going to deal straight with us? Uh, I'll give you my word. I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? Look, I just want to help make sure things end the right way. I, uh, I see what you mean. Uh... I'm sure you'd rather be somewhere else than stuck in this We're bank. We're staying as long as it takes. Oh, God. All right, well. Trust me or don't, but I'm the one dealing. Well, I might be the only thing keeping you, keeping the marshal and his boys from bringing a very violent end. Whoa! Take it easy there. Ah. <sighs> I need two more. It's got to be this one. I'm sure you're ready for a change of scenery by now. We've been in worse scrapes than this. Uh, we can handle being stuck in a bank. Nothing you say is going to change my mind, so let's just move on. All right. Tell me your demands. Must be something you want, so start talking before I get bored. Uh, we want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? It could take a while to get you a ship. Oh, hell. The Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean is simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. It's not what too late. What do you mean? Oh, boy. 
Well, let's just take a shot here. You really think so? Surrender now before anyone gets hurt and things will be a lot better for you. Yeah, those hostages did nothing wrong. Don't make them pay for your mistakes. You have to believe me. We never meant to take hostages. Nobody's been hurt. So maybe the judge won't come down too hard on us. Yeah. I think this has gone on long enough. You go tell the marshal we'll come quietly. Okay. We did it. I was kind of worried since we failed the first one. Quite a spectacle, isn't it? The Shaw gang's making What's the worst? It's over. They agreed to come quietly. Well, I'll be a son of an Ashta. <laughs> How'd you pull that off? Uh, I convinced them it was the right thing to do. Considering those are Shaw's people, that's damn near a miracle. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. Hmm. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to the Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. Okay. She handles the new recruits. We can do that. All right, another three thousand bucks. Nice. Okay, let's uh, let's get back to our mission at hand. We needed to get this one done, uh, and we but we've got that one started. Let's see, the late bloomer. Let's uh, put that back in. And I think I need to take another shot of courage here for this. Well, let's get over to where we're going first. Uh, it's right around the corner here, right? Shimon, baby. And there's a, oh, that's a chunks right there. All right. The Co Heritage Museum. Okay. So you want to come here for a half day? Full All right. Let's do this. Let's make sure we've got plenty of aid. Uh, and let's do the red wine. Good lord. Day? Oof. A half day. I talked with Miss Kassler, and she'll give a full guided tour. Okay. What the? Welcome to the Co Heritage What's Museum. Going I there? offer a brief tour, and I'm happy to discuss the city's history as well. Okay. All right, Leah. I Hi. got business. Please feel free to have a look around. It's the reason I started this place. Okay. I'd like to talk to you about a tree branch. That is not something I expected to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies. I've received some odd messages of late. Yeah, I'm helping Mast, yes. Most in the Collective aren't overly fond of Mast, or the UC in general. I tend to share that sentiment. Uh-oh. Lost a cousin in the Colony War, you know. Sorry. Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized, nor particularly inclined, to release any of our pieces. That includes hundred-year-old tree branches. Sorry, but it's staying in storage. Oh. Okay. Uh, can we talk again? I have artifacts that date all the way back to the time of Solomon Coe himself. Nice. I hear what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. Uh... Let's try this auto persuade. Go on, keep asking. I still won't hand it over. Oh, great. All right, let's do an R auto persuade. Easy. We're just talking, right? I can't believe I'm doing this. Please return it in one piece. You got it. Okay. All right, now we can head back to see Kelton. Okay, we're uh, just about back. Uh, we're about to make Kelton's good day. To see another badge. Have you paid a visit to Miss Castler in Aquila City? I sure have. She wants it back when you're done with it. Yes, yes, of course. I'll see that it is returned to her in one piece. Well, 
Perhaps minus a few shavings. Now, I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. All right, so okay. we'll feed in a sample. Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample, extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. This was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. But I'm hoping it's enough. Okay, come on. And there it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. Okay, speak to Kelton. So, we now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. I don't have much of a singing voice, but I can try. <laughs> I'm quite certain you couldn't achieve the necessary register. Far too low for human vocal cords. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, oh, but if Never you do. can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, it might do the trick. I'll take care of it. I have no doubt that you will. Okay, uh, upload the audio. Where do we gotta go? Where's it at? Uh, oh, it's over here. Okay. I'll see you when I get over to the audio box. Okay, it's we're important. almost here to the audio box. Let's see what we can do. E. Uh, broadcast diagnostics. Upload diagnostics file. Found updating. Uh, come on, file found, updating, are we good? Did it finish? Did we do it? No, that didn't do it. All right, let's do this. All right, let's run the diagnostics. Diagnostics file found running. Okay, return to the tree. That did it. Okay, that got it. I just needed to do both. All right. While we're here, we should talk to this gal right here. I've just got a feeling about you. That's all I can do. You have a story to tell. Welcome to SSNN, where the news never sleeps. If you're part of the David Barron fan club, try not to inflate his ego too much. No. He's liable to burst. Uh. Nice to meet you, too. <sighs> Sorry. Long day. Longer night. <clears throat> How about a do over? You bet. Let's take a look at you. You. You're not from around here. No. My guess is you work, really work, for a living. Yeah. I bet you have a story or two. I have a feeling about such things. All right. My life has gotten very weird and interesting lately. Sounds like an old pickup line. But it really has, hasn't it? I'm interested only in primary sources. So things you've seen and are done that are newsworthy. No hearsay. Okay. So, what do you got for me? Uh, how about the, uh... Crimson Fleet attacked an Argos mining facility on Victoria. Looks like some Crimson Fleet brainiac figured out it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. And you are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. Refreshing. So what were the pirates doing there? It's not their usual MO. Uh... Bad blood between the fabled constellation and the Crimson Fleet? has all the markings of what we in the SSNN call a story. Okay. So what's your role in all this? Part of a tour group? Uh... I was... Yeah, I worked for Argos. Now I'm with Constellation. Wow, an actual member of Constellation graces my office. Do we bow? Maybe smoke a pipe? Oh, God. So we've covered the basics. How about any harrowing tales of daring do? How'd a bunch of miners triumph? 
Uh, hmm. So should I embellish this? Uh, uh, no. Nah. Huh. Sounds like a good outfit. The heroic miner is a good angle. Nice. This is a good local story. Plucky miners band together and punch above their weight. Yep. If you ever get more stories like this, drop by. And take this to cover any incidentals. Okay. Or other creative ways to pad out an expense report. There's 500. All right. I think we have one more. You talk and get paid. I spread the news. It's a classic win-win. I have uh, information about the Gal Bank robbery, you Kayla. You certainly get around. I'm surprised that branch has any customers left the number of times it's been held up. But I thought the Rangers had finally managed to get a handle on it. I heard there was a standoff. That true? There was a standoff, I'd all say right. I'm surprised, but this is my total lack of surprise face. What happened to the robbers? The Shaw Gang? I negotiated with the gang and talked them down. <laughs> you did what? I mean, you're well-spoken, but a hostage negotiator? Yeah, man. I'll do some research and make sure that checks out. These things are often messy. Any customers or gal bank staff get hurt? Thankfully, there were no casualties, not even in injuries that I know of. That's really good news. Usually, well, it's yep. a different kind of story. You were there. You were involved in resolving it. Yep. Any comment on the Freestar Rangers? Having another high-profile robbery in their own backyard is a bit of a black eye. Uh... Let's see. Desperate people that the Rangers keep it from turning into a massacre. If the Rangers can't protect their own bank, who can they protect? Oh, boy. Uh... Desperate people do desperate things. Rangers keep it from turning into a massacre. Huh. That's really good to know. Stories like this always fire up public outrage and appetite. Thanks for the interview. And take this. Another 500. Okay. All right. There we go. Now let's head Please back. Please tell me you're I'll not here to see Mr. Baron. I, I will uh, see you back over at the tree. Okay. We are just about here to see Kelton again. And I'm hoping this is about going to finish this up. We've done it! I'm already seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. The tree is calming down. I can hardly believe that worked. Well, what happens now? I don't know! We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. And you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge yeah, of yeah, our yeah, environment. Noble work across the board. Sure. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis, though they don't know it. Ah, 4,300 credits, mission rewards, and we really gained in the XP. Well, shoot, we have managed to do, well, we talked to uh, SN and then Broadcasting, we uh, stopped a bank robbery, and we've also taken care of the Tree of Life, or whatever they want to call it here. So I think this is a good spot to uh, call the video good, and so, uh, yeah. If uh, you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And uh, please uh, subscribe. That really helps the channel. And remember to ring that bell so you can get updates on when I put uh, new videos up. All right, all you starfighters out there, keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.